Now we're gonna take a look at how to open your opponent's guard in a very safe way. You know, especially when there's a weight difference, when your opponent normally keep brings you down by, by breaking your posture and giving you a hard time. And as you go drive him back, there's a lot of risks of arm lock, triangles, and things like that. So the main thing, I remember I still, when I was a child, I had huge problems to stand up here because back then we would hold both hands right here and square, we try to get up. So every time I had a larger opponent, a taller opponent, or a heavier opponent, I would go through hell to open his guard. So I started studying a way to do it, which was my grip here was always, you have to understand, I grew up where our hands would be here. And this kept us very hard to be able to keep the posture. So to place a hand forward was very dangerous for the fact that you always offer in your arm because back then people would hold this way so the elbow was in perfect position for an arm lock look. You see? By changing just the grip, could you do the same arm lock again? Please, go. <laughs> you see, by just placing the elbow outwards, it became very hard for him to raise the hip long enough, far enough to be able to finish with that. So I'll be sideways, and before, when I was always square, they would grab both of my collars with both hands, and they bring their head up, look. They bring the head up, and they pull you down. Oh. So I'll be always a struggle. So by suffering through this for many years, I began working to be my whole body sideways. So I would shake, even my knee was further forward than the other one. So I'll place my whole body sideways. So from here, could you grab my both collars again and bring me down? Look how hard it is for him to bring me down. He cannot even look. All his leverage is done there. With that, following the same procedure of keeping my body sideways, I would bring this leg up first. I would do this. You see, and if you notice, my leg is already putting pressure on his hip. It's like, my goal is to place my foot, my foot further enough like I want to place the knee right on his stomach. Right? Now from here, I would pop my leg open and I'll bring myself up this way right? and the leg was open. If, if it happened for him to keep that leg closed, what happened here is this. Once I'm up, keep the leg closed, I come up, I will let my hand slide to the middle of his side and my elbow has to touch inside his knee right there. And if you see the beauty of this, because I have my hip under me, I don't even need to lay my weight on my hands, on my arm. This will prevent him from bringing me out of balance. So I grab it, pop it over, right there. And here I am. See, there's no risk of him trying to reach here. He's actually helping me to pass if he does that. So I have control for the whole time. Now, one important thing, especially if your opponent is much heavier and, and bigger than you, that will help you to stand up a lot. Is this little detail that was created by John Donahue. Once you're sideways here and your leg is up, sometimes you have trouble and you need to put your weight into him to get up. That brings you out of balance. So I will do this. The foot will pop out, look, this way. It became very easy to stand up, independent of his size and weight. Thank you.